even those days in spring where maybe you were dragging it a little bit. You came in, you saw him, he had that energy. You know, you got to match the energy, and he, he gets it out of you. So it's been awesome. Like year three now, just how do you feel growing more as one of the faces of this offensive line heading into this season uh, for you? I, I don't really look at it as a face of the O-line. I think we're all a unit. Um, I think we're a package deal. I think everyone on the O-line is you know, the face of the O-line. So I think it's just been great to work with everyone, grow as a team, and you know, just become closer as well off the field. And I, I think that translates on the field when you look at it. So. You're up uh, four pounds from the spring, though. Is it kind of your goal time to bulk up entering the summer? Yeah. Um, I knew, too, that during camp, you know, just with the workload, you kind of slim down a little bit. So having those extra pounds on me to stay at that 310, 315-ish, you know, that was kind of strategic to stay in that range. I think that's where, you know, I, I feel best, play best, have the most strength, but still am able to move out on the perimeter. You feel like you, uh, you're at your most, I guess, fit or your healthiest as it's been in a long time since you've been here? Yeah, um, I've been bugging Megan, our nutritionist, about the DEXA scans just to see, like, what my body fat is. And, you know, talking with my dad, like, he called me up because he's always on me about making sure I keep my weight up. I called him up and I said, I'm like, yeah, I, this is the heaviest I've been, but this is also the um, – this is the best I've felt body composition-wise, so I'm, I'm eager when we get our DEXA results back to see what my body fat's at, where my muscle mass is, that sort of thing. It seems like every player kind of represents Megan and uh, the nutritionist and uh, like the role she, she does. Uh, what, what makes her so, I guess, special for you guys to kind of stay in shape and stay healthy? Yeah, um, I, I love the fact she's always in the bistro. Like, she's available, she makes herself available, and she's, um, like, she relates to us as players, if that makes sense. Like, she's not, we don't look at her as someone that we're scared of, like, she wants to be someone that we feel like we can come to, and she's done a great job of that. Like, any nutrition question, I'll text her about supplements, nutrition, anything like that. Um, I think she's made herself very available to us, and she's someone that we want to uh, do well for, and she makes us want to get it out of ourselves. She inspires us to be better. Like, one of the things talking to Tristan about is just the continuity of this offensive line and that we're not going into the portal for anything and just keeping it in-house and keeping it with this group. Just how has this group grown as a unit together and what are you guys expecting for the, I guess, what are your expectations for this group heading into the year? Yeah, um, me and Tristan have talked about it. The whole alliance talked about it. Like, we really want to uh, set the standard. We want to go out there and show what we can do. And I think we have the guys to be, you know, the best O-line, period. So... I think we all know what we can do and holding each other accountable, like I was saying earlier, um, making sure everyone's holding everyone accountable, whether it's a freshman holding a senior accountable, vice versa, like everyone's being held accountable because we know what we can accomplish if we're held accountable. How excited are you for you that, that season opening matchup against Georgia? You, you get tested right off the bat. Man, uh, they have great guys over there, great scheme. They play with, they play with some grit to them. I'm really excited. I think that, um, you know, I think that playing against them will be a great uh, way to start the season off, kind of see what we're made of. And I think that we can really, you know, do well. And I think that'll be a confidence booster to so kind of see what we're doing and, Thank you. you know, how we stack up against them. So I, I'm excited. I, I think we can, we can do well. It's just, like I said, having that accountability, having that belief in ourselves, being able to execute, not making stupid mistakes. That's what it always comes down to to win football games.